It started with a message. I just got a new phone. Let's grab a drink sometime. We've been talking a few weeks. I hadn't done online dating before, but I'd been single an embarrassing amount of time, so I thought, why not? It's always been a good way to find people, and a date gave me an excuse to be at the restaurant that night. I wasn't expecting her to say yes. Of course I said yes. It was a perfect alibi. I got there early, but I didn't want her to think I was early, so I ended up doing a few laps around the block. But then I underestimated how long those laps would take, and I actually got there five minutes late. He was late. Bad start. She looked just like her picture. That was a relief. He was wearing this awful blue shirt. I bought a new shirt for this. First date I'd been on in months. I remember he kept smiling. She didn't really seem like she wanted to be there. I've never been good at dating. I know there are things that you're supposed to do, but I can never remember the order and I just end up getting it wrong. We spoke. She was nice. He was nice. It's harder when they're nice. Nothing out of the ordinary. I wasn't sure if he'd go along with it. I ordered a pizza, pepperoni. I only ordered an appetizer. I knew it wouldn't be there long enough to eat anything else. We'd hardly touched our food before she- He was about to leave. I'd been watching him all evening, sat by the window opposite some young blonde. He stood up, grabbed his coat. It was my only chance. I thought, Maybe it was an ex? They told me he'd be alone. He wasn't alone. She rushed to get something from her bag and she walked right past his table. I was discreet. It looked like she- I just dropped some of it in his food. Dropped something in his food? I went to the bathroom and when I came back, there were people gathered around him. He started choking. She told me she'd had a call and she needed to go home. I offered to walk her to her car. I am a man that values routine. So much is going on in the world today that routines are important to help center us, you know? I wake up at the same time each morning. I eat the same thing for breakfast. I walk the dog three times every day. Half past six, half past three, and nine o'clock. I took my usual walk that night through the park. After we got to the park, I felt like she wasn't walking to her car anymore. I didn't even have a car, but he was nice, so I said yes, and I just kept walking, and he kept following me. I didn't want to seem like a stalker. He felt like a stalker. There was a man there walking his dog. Who walks their dog in the pitch black in the darkest part of the park? It seemed like he knew her. Pippa? Who are you? Don't you remember me? I'm Joel. Carl's brother? Oh, hi Joel. Chuck. I wasn't sure what to do. I used to date this brother. His brother who owed my new employer some money he was refusing to pay. His brother whom I just poisoned in the middle of a restaurant. As soon as he finds out his brother was killed, he put two and two together in no time. How have you been? He knew exactly how things ended with me and Carl. I haven't spoken to Carl for a week or two. He's seeing someone new. He took her out to dinner. She needs to see what sort of bullet she needs to dodge, huh? No fucking way. Don't worry about it, Joel. I'm sorry. You two are on a... Yeah, sort of. This is... Toby. Hi. I had to get rid of him. Did she kill her ex? Was I just a pawn so she could be at that restaurant that night to kill her shitty ex-boyfriend? What you need to know about me is I've been a contract killer for about five years now. Carl never knew about it. No one did. I get hired by bad people to do bad things, and it just so happened that Carl was the unlucky victim in this particular hit which I can't say was mad about. Joel had to go. I don't remember much after we spoke. I didn't know she had a gun. I pointed it right at him. He begged for his life. I told her to stop. I begged her to stop. They both kept shouting and his dog wouldn't stop barking. Stop! Stop! Joel was crying. I pointed at his shoulder instead. It was so quick. He fell slowly, landed hard, 
I almost felt bad for the guy. I'd never seen anyone get shot before. I was so sure she was gonna shoot me next. I should have shot him. It's number one rule. Get rid of any witnesses. But she let me go. I liked the guy. I made sure he knew what would happen if he crossed me, obviously. I just walked. I walked and I walked. I don't want to kill Joel. Just warn him. The bullet shattered my shoulder. I almost lost my arm. I, I'm not able to work anymore. I just left him there. At least he had his dog to keep him company. After I found out what happened to Carl, I knew she had something to do with it. This shot was her way of showing me what would happen to me if I told anybody. I didn't tell. We met at work. She trained me on my first day, and we had a drink together after my shift. She kept to herself. She didn't talk about her life outside of work. She didn't ask questions. I never had a close friend like her before. I found out about it on the news. She called me the day after it happened. I didn't answer. Someone at the restaurant had taken a video of Carl soaking and warming at the mouth. I think I was the only one who knew how things ended between them, so it wasn't hard to figure out what might have happened. I went to see her after about a week. I needed somewhere to lay low. I thought assassins were only in the movies, like Mission Impossible and The Terminator. I felt good to finally tell someone. Was I worried that she'd kill me? No. If you had asked me that question and I'd pissed off, then yes, absolutely. It started with a message. Will I do it again? If people keep paying me. It might be a while before I go on an online date again. No, I haven't spoken to him. You know, I think we could have been good together if she hadn't been a murderer. It's a shame he had to be dragged into all of this. That's just how it has to be sometimes. Now I just go back to my job and try not to think about her taking back her decision to let me go. I locked my doors extra tight and I've installed a new CCTV, but uh, no, I'm not worried. I'm, I, honestly, I, I'm not. Hello? Yes, I am. Okay. What's his name? Where? 